Listen, man, when people when people see that you handling your business and you know you just a all around good person, you might be a really nice person and you always, you know, the type of person you don't really get mad at nobody too often. You know, you stay in your own lane, you know, you handling your business, you focusing on your vision. When people detect that you are like this, they're going to try to use you. They're going to try to take everything that you have and they're going to try to make you think that the world revolves around them. When in all actuality, you don't owe them anything, okay? So stay tuned through this whole entire video, man. I'm your big bro, Trans Genius. Stay tuned to the end. I got something very special for you at the end of this video. You don't owe them anything. The world doesn't evol evolve or revolve around them, all right? And one thing you got to understand nowadays, most people are just lazy. They lazy. They don't want to work for nothing. You, you ask them if you got a purpose or a vision. They don't even know what they want to do. They don't got no clue as to like where they're going to be in the next five years. They can't even tell you if you ask them the question. Just try people sometimes. Just ask them. Say, hey, where do you see yourself in the next five years? I guarantee most of them can't even answer that question because they don't have no direction in life. All right. And. Most of the time, people only just want a handout. They want it free from you. If you don't give them something for free, you know, they're going to think you're a bad person. They're going to say you money hungry. They're going to say you ain't cuz no more. You ain't my friend. Like I thought, you know, they're going to come up with all these excuses because they just lazy like that. And that's how most people are nowadays. They don't want to do the work. They just want to take from everybody what somebody else has, take other people's ideas, and they were looking for a handout and they want they want the world handed to them on a silver platter. And they look and pray on people like you to be able to do that for them because they know you a genuine person. They know you authentic and they know you very real, you know, and, and you, you just like I said, you're just a nice person. But listen, you got to get in the habit of telling people no. It's not a bad thing to have more no's than yeses. OK, you will start having more things, more <laughs> more money, you'll have more freedom, you'll have more peace, you know, you'll, you'll have more clarity when it comes down to what you're thinking about, your ideas will even come to you like they're supposed to when you start telling people no, you got to learn how to tell people no, no, you cannot move in with me, no, I'm not taking you there today because I have something to do, no, I'm not coming over to hang with you, I, no, I don't have to do this, I don't. you got to start telling people no. You, you feel me? Because like I said, most people are lazy. They live and they live. Most people live their whole life using people. Most people live their whole life beating off of people, staying up under people, hanging with people that they know is going to do this for them and, and do that for them. You know what I mean? Most chicks that you see walking around nowadays, they trying to befriend a chick that can do their hair. Oh, OK, well. I'm going to stay with her. I'm going to help her do this. And then they get into an argument and they be fighting at the end of the day because they all want they all want their own thing. Okay? And so if you the type of person, if you like a breadwinner, like you might be the breadwinner of, of your friends or you might make the most money or have the highest paying job or maybe you just got some authority. Maybe you're a boss or, you know, Maybe you're a stripper or something and you get the most bread at night. I don't know. You know, you could be a minister. I don't know what you do. Readings, whatever the case may be. Just because you got a title and your title says that this is your status and your status is higher than somebody else's, they're going to automatically hold you accountable for, for their very own responsibilities. That's just how people live. You know, they're, they're going to say, let's, let's, let's. Let's let, ask him to throw the uh, party because he has the most money. You know what I'm saying? Or, yeah, let, let her do it because, you know, she has this page or whatever and she has all these followers and stuff like that. Let let her do it. This is how people think because, like I said, they, make, they, make, they want you to think that they can get you to do anything they want you to do because they feel like you owe them everything that you have worked and bust your butt for, you know? You don't went out there and unslaved and you don't toil and try to make everything happen to the best of your ability and you get your life together finally just a little bit, okay? You finally start getting your life together just a little bit. Just that little bit of getting your life together, people going to try to come and take that from you. It's like crabs in a bucket. The higher you get out the bucket, you're going to have another little crab pulling on your leg like, help me, do this with me, do that, but you don't owe them nothing. 
That's the thing you got to understand. Don't feel bad because you tell somebody no. I'm not giving you no money today. No. I'm not watching your kids today. No, bro. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm not doing anything for free for you. I done already gave you three freebies. I'm not doing it no more. You got to learn how to put your foot down on people because I'm telling you folks, they doing, they don't want you to be better than them. They don't want you to have, have your life all together and they don't have their life all together. So once again, if you like a, a bread winner, you, 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 you person in the family, you probably got the most money. You might be married. You probably the only, you probably the only one in the family that actually married. And then your family gonna look up to y'all and gonna try to hold y'all accountable for their responsibility. Oh, they they since they together, they've been together for this amount of years. Maybe they can pay for it. Maybe they that's how they do. But you don't owe them anything because you got a different status, because you got a different lifestyle. You choose to make the right decisions in life. You don't owe people anything. And like I said, folks, once they know that you a God fearing person, because you know, if you're a God fearing person like myself, then that means you have a a, a loving heart. That means you are, you know, you you'll give the shirt off your back, you know, to somebody that that, that was butt naked, you know, and they have no clothes or no place to stay, you know. You'll do these type of things, you know, when people are down and out, bad, like real bad. You'll do things for them, and you and, and they know that, okay. But what I'm saying is, some people try to take that for granted. And they'll just try to use you because they know that they can get out of you whatever they want because they know you a pushover. They know you too nice to say no. You know what I mean? And, and one thing they'll one thing they'll do is they'll start saying that you are a bad person when you start telling them no. Just go ahead and get used to that already. All right? They're going to try to treat you like you the bad person and they're going to start playing the victim role like you hurt me. Uh, you left me. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't leave you. I, I was there to pick you up. You came out thirty minutes late. You know they're gonna always try to flip the story on you and make it seem like you are the antagonist, like you the villain. You know, like you you the one that's supposed to be taking care of me type of shit. You don't owe them a damn thing. You know, and that's what they always do. They tr they always try to flip it on you once you realize that the world don't revolve around them. And you take away their privilege or their benefit that they was once upon a time given to you was given to them, they gon they gon start blaming you for their problems and their shortcomings. Why? All because you're doing good. This is all because you're doing good. All because you choose to focus. You choose to focus. You choose to aim in on your target. You choose to stay in your lane. You choose to focus and mind on mind your own damn business. And you working on yourself. You're trying to help yourself. You're trying to feed yourself, make a way for yourself and get to your goals. They're going to call you a bad person because you're not revolving around them. Ladies, y'all got it the worst. It's a lot of girls that so-called call themselves your friends, but they they all start tripping and getting in their feelings when you're not giving them the attention that they need. You ever met a petty girl like that? Petty, just petty, emotional wrecks. All because you didn't call back in, in a certain time frame. All because you was hanging out with your other friend and, and now she mad because you, you didn't hang out with her. Just petty shit. Immature shit. But I'm just saying, this is why some people live with the mindset thinking that everything should revolve around them. And they will try to take it out on you because they have a problem. They can't, they can't level up on their own. They can't do anything by themselves. They always have been used to using somebody else for advancement of their own life. Why? Because they lazy. They, they just lazy and you don't owe them anything. You know, they, I get a lot of people always say with me, they always say, well, why, why do you look so serious? And I'm not even serious. I'm just having a straight face and I'm thinking in my mind of different ideas that I want to do for today. They look at me like, why are you so serious? Lighten up. I'm just a serious person. What's wrong with being serious? Don't you don't you supposed to be serious about your life? Ain't this a time and place for you to have fun and time and place for you to be serious? But once again, folks, this is the shade that people throw. This is the shade they throw on you to try to throw you off your game. They want you to feel bad about being who you really just truly are. You know what I mean? And then they'll try to always bring up old shit that happened like a week ago. Like, 
Uh, soon as you too, soon as you take away a benefit or a privilege, as soon as you start to understand that the world don't revolve around them, as soon as you tell them no, because you don't owe them anything, they gon' they they ain't they ain't gonna forget that. What they gonna do is they're gonna bring up something that happened in the past that you did that made them feel bad. You remember when I if I'm still hurt because of that. That was a week ago. How you still mad at something that happened a week ago? But I'm just telling y'all. This is how people play games when you're not giving them your undivided attention because they feel like you owe them everything for not for nothing. It's just for nothing. You know what I mean? And so that's that's what I'm saying. Some some people just some people just be they just be tripping like that about you and you might not even be around. You might not even be around and this person just assumed something in their mind that you did and y'all was already hanging together and they don't went and done this and done that. And, and, and then they come back to you like on Wednesday and they, they mad about some shit that happened on last Wednesday. Like, where they do that at? The way they do that at? You know why they do this? They do this because they think that you owe them everything. This is what they do. Okay? The world doesn't evolve around them. Okay? Stop giving people what God has blessed you with. You know what I mean? Stop giving people your blessings. Stop giving people your food. You know what I'm saying? Stop giving people everything that you earn and that you working for. They don't owe you don't owe them shit. They can go out there and work just as hard as you can for whatever they desire to have. But you know what? They ain't gonna do it because you know why? They got somebody that's nice like you that's gonna keep giving it to them. And then you gonna keep complaining about what they ain't doing. Oh, they ain't need that. Uh, man, she ain't that. Man, she ain't that. And you know why? Because you keep giving her shit that she don't have to earn for herself. Duh. You know what I'm saying? And don't and listen, if God wanted them to have what you have, don't you think he would have gave it to them already? But see, sometimes the Lord don't want you to uh, share your blessings with people. Stop thinking that God is, is, is so good that he wants you to give everything you got to them. He would have gave it to them. They wouldn't have to ask you for it. Last time I said, don't they don't y'all serve the same God? OK, what, what's the difference? It ain't no different. The difference is you. You just an outgoing, ambitious, motivated person, focused person, do your own thing person, okay? And, and you, since you outworking them, they think that everything that you are working for, your hard-earned resources should go to them. You know what I mean? But God would have gave it to them. And that's what I'm saying, man. Y'all got to be careful because some people will act like they're your best friends. Some people act like they're your close homies all because they know you got a bag, all because they know you got some money. You got to watch your friends, all right? Some friends is only around you because you are a meal ticket. You feel me? You a meal ticket. They can get a free meal off of you. Yeah. And you know that's all they want because, you know, they they, can't, they don't really got enough to get themselves a meal. They, they too scared to go out and take themselves out for a bite to eat. So they need you around. They need you to, to come and butter them up and, and, and give you... Give them everything that you know, everything that you have earned, everything that you got. They want it for themselves. And like I said, as soon as you tell them no that one time, they're going to turn on you and say you the bad person. They're going to say you the bad person. And so, you know, y'all got to keep this in mind. Fellas, keep this in mind when it comes down to some of these women out here. Some of these women live in la-la land, dog. Some of these girls got so much ego and they head is in the clouds. Like they airheads and 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 most all of them think that they all the prettiest thing walking. Just like every other chick, bro. You know? And they'll try to use their looks or whatever. They'll throw on some makeup, some uh, eyeliner, and, and, and throw in some Virgin Remy and, and put on some something that's tight fitted. And then they'll get you to come out of your, your, your investment funds. And they'll get you to give them everything that they need. Because they don't want to go work for it themselves, bro. Stop falling for these chicks out here, bro. They think that the whole world revolve around them. You're not obligated to take care of her responsibilities. You're not obligated to do shit for her. She got legs, feet, hands. She can do it for herself. You understand? And just because you sleep with somebody don't still don't mean that you owe them anything. They gave up the same, they gave up the same privacy to you that you gave up to them. It's 50-50. But again, you'll have some people that use their body as power. They'll say, well, I, I did this for you. Yeah, we had sex, so you got to give me this. And you owe me that. Yeah, you slept with me. 
and they'll try to make you look like the bad person because they made the conscious decision to have sex with you and you made the conscious decision to have sex with them and y'all both adults, but they'll start acting like the victim and like a little kid, like you stole it from them or something. Like you, like you took it from them or something. They gave it up to you. But that's just how the Decepticons is. They want you to think that you owe them everything and they have done nothing for you, okay? This could be anybody. This could be your own fam. You know, this could be the, the next door neighbor that you hang out with. This could be your, your pet buddy that y'all y'all walk dogs with. You know what I'm saying? People people just act funny like that. They For some strange reason, just because they know you might have a little bit more than them, just because they know you probably got some status or, you know, hey, this person knows you or you work here, they're going to say, oh, well, they're going to already be in their feelings, be mad about it because they jealous. And then they're going to say, you well, you don't, you need to do this for me. Why you ain't doing this for me? You you should be doing this and doing that. Is it, is it me? Is it this? Is it what did I do wrong? Da, da, da. No, it's just that they think that they think that the world revolves around them when they really don't. You have a life, okay, and you can you deserve to live your life. Don't let people make you think that you have to take away from your life to invest into theirs. All right, especially they ain't giving you shit. They ain't giving you no bread. They ain't filling up your bank account. They ain't filling up your damn gas tank. They ain't doing nothing for you. But it's funny because they'll tell you how you ain't doing nothing, how you owe them everything. You should be doing this. You should be shopping for me. You should be getting me some new shoes. You should be taking me out. You should be doing... They're going to try to come up with all this bullshit and try to make you think that you owe them everything when they ain't done nothing for you because that's the mindset they have. They have the mindset of I get what I want when I want because I am entitled. I have a status. Uh, I have a badge, you know, and I have record ranking or I'm promoted. I'm manager. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You should do this for me. You should continue to keep working hard and doing other people's jobs if I tell you to because I am the manager. Ah, 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 ah. You don't owe that. You don't owe the manager that much work. You doing what you signed up to do. And you get home, you go home, and that's it. Stop letting people use you. Stop letting people push you over. Stop letting people take your your kindness for granted. Just because you're a nice person don't mean you gotta always tell people yes. Stop stop making people stop making people think that you can come in and, and cover for people and shit. And they always out. Uh, fucking off and going, hanging out, going on dates, but they got you in there doing their job because <laughs> the the manager don't want to hire nobody else because he want to save money, he want to save budget to put in his pocket. Where they do that at? You know. And like I said, bro, be careful. It'll be a lot of people who try to come into your life when you're doing good, when you when you getting your things together, you know. Uh, and they will try to use you for your success to advance their very own success. Like I said, fellas, you probably, you know, there's a lot of women out there that do this. There's, there's a lot of women that use men to advance themselves and to go higher up the pedestal, dude. And vice versa, the same thing with you ladies. There are, there are men who use women. Might be using you for your car, might be using you for a place to stay. You know, they will use you if they can get in where they fit in and they know you are a nice woman. They will use you and then turn their back on your ass the very next the very next week. That's just how the game go. But I'm telling you, you can avoid people like that by saying no. Just tell people no most of the time. If you don't have the majority of the time for yourself and your very own endeavors in your life, then you telling people you too many yeses. All right. But if you are more at peace and you find yourself a little bit by yourself more, and you do have the opportunity to go on these dates. You do have the opportunity to have X amount of friends in your life, but you're like the type of person you just want to stay focused, like me. You know, you want to stay focused on your goals. You want to make sure that you, you know, you want to make sure that your house is clean before you invite people up. You know what I'm saying? You just want to make sure you're taking care of business, right? Before you start to have fun. Don't give people too many yeses. Be confident within saying no. It's the best thing you can do. You'll thank me later. All right. Now, I told you, if you stay tuned to the end of the video, Big Brother got something very special for you. Y'all see my shirt. I'm not going to tell you what we're doing in the crypto Patreons. But if you want to earn money, digital money, man, like the new way. Y'all seen Chris Brown just got an NFT. 
Some of y'all don't even know what an NFT is. It's everybody doing it. Snoop Dogg, we all in this crypto stuff, folks. I'm in it. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't know anything about it and you want to learn crypto and you want to get on these Zoom calls that we have every month, if you want to get into this club with us, look at the very bottom at the top comment section. You'll see where it says become my Patreon. Sign up on whatever tier you think that you need to be on, but just make sure you get into Patreon today. Invest into yourself. Listen, you will not regret it. We're we going to be making a lot of money this year, man, because we're learning about crypto and we know that it, the dollar, the, av the average dollar is losing value, y'all. If you ain't got no money, if you ain't got no dollar bills in your pocket, $20 bill, $10 bill in your wallet right now, then what you know that I'm telling you is true. The, the dollar bill is losing its value. Everything is becoming digital. Get into crypto with us today and you will, you will learn more about crypto with Big Bro Trend Genes. Other than that, man, listen, I still got some more of this left, man. This is the Intuitive boot, uh, Beauty um, Goddess Essential Oil. Oh, man, it smells good. This is a two-ounce bottle. It's got dried flowers in it. Dried flowers in it, jasmine and roses. And I'm, listen, I'm not even a goddess. You know what I mean? I'm a king. But I still put this on my hands or something. If I, I, if I want my hands to be moisturized, I put it on my neck because I can smell it. And it makes me calm. It makes me relax because of that scent and that smell. And it's all organic. It's not any chemicals in it. It's all organic and it feels great. So if you want some of this, man, shoot me an email and say, I want some goddess, bro. It's for men and women. I want some goddess. Okay? Listen, fellas, if you put it on, all the goddesses is going to smell it. <laughs> so there you go. Other than that, man, if you ain't never talked to Big Bro, if you never got a session with me and you've been wanting to talk to me personally, remember, don't send me no email, folks. I can't have a whole conversation with you through direct messaging or email. You know what I'm saying? I get a thousand messages a day. I can't respond to that. Make sure you book your session with me. You book your session, then you wrote your, you wrote your name to be able to talk to me, okay? Because you wrote your own check. So in the bottom of the comment section at the very top, you'll see where it says... Book a session with Big Bro. Book your session with me today, and I'll be calling you on the phone this evening. With that being said, remember what I said. Remember these words, man. You don't owe nobody anything. If they not investing into your life, if they haven't poured into your life or sowed seeds into your life or for anything, you don't owe them shit. All right? Because the world doesn't revolve around them. Stay blessed. I'll see y'all in the next video.